Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing with some makeup. It's roasting, hence the little garments I'm wearing. The room that I'm currently filming in is south facing, so every moment the sun comes out, the room heats up like a greenhouse and the light changes, so that's fun for us, but we're gonna power through. I want to do something super glowy today, really, really glowy skin, kind of natural skin, and I want to do something fun with the eyes. Have I decided what I want to do with my eyes yet? No, I'm not. But I just thought I'd press record and see what happens. Okay, let's start with skin. I'm completely prepped, uh, skincare primer the lot. I'm all, I'm all sorted. I recently got a parcel through from Estee Lauder. What a throwback. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I actually worked for Estee Lauder on the makeup counter when I was a wee girl. And they have their Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturising Makeup. This has got an SPF of 45, so maybe not super suitable for like wedding photography, but we're gonna try it out today. I have the shade 3W1 Tawny, which is the shade I used to wear when I worked there. So let's just have a look. Oh, very like liquidy, which is nice. I, this color actually might be a total winner. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, lovely. It's a wee touch dark, but if you look at the color of like my chest and my shoulders, it's actually okay. We can lighten it up with a bit of concealer. And I'm just using a little amount all over. I would say that this is actually kind of full coverage. It's definitely not a BB cream so far. So, oh my God, it smells like Estee Lauder. <laughs> it smells like Estee Lauder. That brings back memories. It's so funny. See, when you work on a makeup counter, you really learn the language. So I still remember all the, like the double wear shades and the, like the abbreviations for them, like 4W1, 4N1, 3W1 is Tony. I mean, it's doing exactly what I wanted, this glowy skin and you can still see all my freckles through it. So I would say it's a glowy, glowy, light to medium foundation. You could definitely sheer this out further. Really nice, very glowy. And I've got my SPF one underneath. This is the La Roche-Posay Hyalu B5 Aqua Gel SPF 30. Uh, it's amazing. It's so nice under makeup. But because this is so dewy as well, we've kind of got double dewy. So I'll just need to powder today. And if you're super oily and you do this combo, maybe like a little bit extra loose powder would be good. And the makeup I'm doing today, I suppose it's quite summery with the skin, but I want to do something a little bit fun with the eyes. I feel like that's where everyone's focus is at the moment, just with all the mask wearing we're doing. I mean, I say that I've literally been pure rocking a red lip lately, like loving life. Red lip when I'm gardening and all that. It's really fun. Nice. Wee bit yellow for me. Wee tiny bit. Uh, I mean, Tawny used to suit me really well, but alas. It has been a year and I've been stuck in Scotland. Next, I've got concealer. I'm gonna use the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Ginger, and I'm just gonna use an eyeshadow brush. And we're gonna conceal our under eyes and just any anywhere we need. I was gonna say any blemishes, but I'm actually, I'm actually not got any at the moment. Ah, I've been using a new skincare product and I think it's changing my life. It is the Allies of Skin Promise Keeper Blemish Overnight Mask, I think it's called. I bought it when I was in London because the reason I don't even want to tell you is because it's sold out all the time. In Selfridges I saw it and I was like, oh, I really want to try that and I've been using it every night since I got it. I think it's amazing. The only thing is it's expensive, but I only use a couple of pumps, like two pumps a night. So I think it would last, I think it will last. I'm gonna keep on testing it and I'll come back and let you know how I get on, but so far, so good. It's like really nice. We better consider my chin. Okay, that foundation's lovely. Not sure how good it would do on oily skin because you can see how glowy it is. Um, and I'm noticing it more like over my cheeks, but we're gonna powder and see how how we go. I did want glowy natural skin today though, didn't I? I have a product, I've not used this in so long, but I just found it and I was like, oh. This is the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Mocha. And I'm gonna use this to really sculpt my face, even though I'm going glowy, somewhat fresh and natural. I wanna be snatched. So I'm just gonna figure out what way I want to use this. I might actually just go straight. Yeah, let's just go straight. So I'm keeping it nice and high here and I'm gonna go down forehead just I'm just going to do the top here and I want to do my chin today because I think I've gained a little bit of weight since we moved because all we do is eat takeaways and I've not been moving my body just using my foundation brush to buff that in and then same here upward motions I remember when I first got these 
I filmed a Fenty video when it when they first came out. I like it for contouring, but I didn't I didn't like it under my eyes. I thought the formula is quite dry, quite a matte formula. So on my cheeks it's fine uh, because I can use like a hydrating primer or moisturizer or, or foundation or whatever. But under my eyes it just went a bit crepey. I don't think I would buy a lighter shade for concealer or anything. That's nice, isn't it? And I'm just bringing it down here because it just pushes everything in. Make sure your neck's blended. I did an Instagram live lately. I was facing a light and I was kind of doing my makeup this way, so this side of my face was in the shadows. And I got off the live. Makeup, makeup looked great on the live and everything. And then I went and looked in the mirror and this whole side of my face was not blended. <laughs> I'm gonna use MAC Dark Tan just to slightly set that contour. Uh, we've only used cream products up to now and it's just nice to set for longevity and it also just adds depth. It's also a slightly different colour and that is so great for building that dimension in your face. I pretty much always use two products to bronze my face whether that be a cream contour and then a powder or two powders that have got slightly different tones. It just really adds something special to the complexion. Cute. I nearly said oldie but goodie there. This is not an oldie but goodie. This is new and great. This is the Sunset Blush by Vive in the shade Pesca. Absolute community favourite. If you have Pesca, let me know. Do you love it? It seems to be the most popular shade. I think it's because it's so easy to wear. And I'm just going to go in with my same brush, this is a Smith. Wow, it's rubbed off. Uh, 118, I know, I know that off by heart. And I'm gonna go in with tons of Pesca and we're just gonna go straight on top of this dewy, dewy skin. The product just blends like a freaking dream. And I'm gonna bring that, I, I want quite a youthful complexion. I'm doing my blusher in quite a youthful way, which is quite high on the apples of the cheeks. And when I smile, my apples, see if I was to put blush here and then rest my face down. My blusher would end up down here, so I apply my blush when my face is at rest. And then I just pat it on there, look at that. Cute! Summer complexion, straight away. See if you're wanting to add a little bit more definition to your face, get your concealer again and just tidy that up, lift it up. I feel if I was going to do like a class or something it would be called, I don't know, lift. It's all about the lift. Love it. Time for powder. I have a new powder. I love this packaging. This is the Dior. It's brand, brand new. It's the Perfecting Translucent Powder Natural Radiant Blur Effect All Day Matte Finish. This is in the shade 2N. Oh, it's just so like decadent, isn't it? What a, like, it feels like a real treat. And we're gonna use this. Oh, it's got a bit of shimmer to it, which I didn't expect. I'm just gonna really, it's pressed quite firmly. Let's just, oh, let's try my forehead. So there you go, you can see the shine. Wow, I didn't expect that because it's pressed so firmly. It takes a wee bit of work to get the product on your brush, but that's good, isn't it? I'm gonna go under my, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't have a mirror. I didn't realize how much I like to go like that and look when I'm, especially when I'm doing it under my eyes. There we go, wow. Oh, it's been a while since I found a powder that I really like. I suppose we'll see if it stands the test of time. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish for me is great. It's a little bit more powdery. This is, um, yeah, it's just harder to get the product and also the oils on my skin are kinda already coating it, which I don't mind. See if the product's great, which I mean, so far I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about that. If the product's great, then I can overlook that. Look at this. Wow, we, that's like some of my favorite skin I've done in a long time, you know. I've got my big, huge all-nighter. I'm gonna set my face. I've done my brows already. I'm gonna let my face sit and dry and then I'm gonna re-powder. My favorite thing, if you've not tried this, definitely try it. Do your whole makeup, set your face, and then once it's dried down, go in with a wee bit more powder and your makeup really won't move. Tell me this, are you all still loving playing with makeup in all its styles. Are we feeling like we're pulling back and going more natural? Are we doing more natural skin, but still very glam eyes and lips and that like glow? Or are you still full coverage, makeup every day? I feel like I'm a bit of a mixed bag. I love it all. I really do just love it all. No makeup makeup. I love the most makeup, which I've got, I'm gonna do a tutorial next week, but it's the most makeup. But like today I feel like what we're doing is natural skin but glam eyes. Is that what we're doing at the moment? Tell me. What's your thoughts and feelings on this? All right, I'm gonna zoom you in for the eyes. Wow, there you go, there's a good look. 
at the skin. I've not done my little ear. That's better. But look at that. Do you see how I've still got my little freckles? I've got a little bit of sculpt. I've got some colour in my cheeks. Bloody pesky man. For eyes, I kind of want to do something a little bit, a little bit graphic maybe, a little bit fun. We are going to start with Viva Eye Wand in Vanilla. This is one of my favourite ways to use eye wands and I don't think I've ever demonstrated it here. So let's just start. I'm going to go in with the eye wand and I'm going to just go right over my crease, over the lid. I'm going to do one eye at a time because these do dry down and I feel like it's better to, to finish one eye before you move on to the next. So when you're using these, even just to create like a subtle smoky eye, I do recommend doing one eye at a time. And then I'm going to go in with a lip brush. This is just my MAC lip brush. And I'm going to use this to get a really crisp line and also to sketch that out. This is going to be quite, um, quite angelic, I think which is just so contradictory to the way that I am. And that's just helping me get that nice winged out shape. So see if I'm like here, you can see it. You can see how oily my eyelids are. So I do get a little bit of crease in before I set, but that's fine. But I just use that as my base. I am just loving seeing everyone using their eye wands in such different ways. The majority, I think, of people are really enjoying creating smoky eyes with their eye wands. I love it though, the feedback we've got about using it as a base for eyeshadow. I think that this is this could be your new favourite eyeshadow base. I swear, it just works so well. It's so easy to use. There's no faff, you literally just draw it on. It's just the best. I'm going to go into the Essentials palette. I'm going to go in with So Shy and that's what we're going to use to set this because I actually actually want to keep it really bright. So this is just gonna mattify, set everything in place exactly where we want it. And vanilla is slightly brighter than So Shy. So this kind of gives us a really nice cream base. It's really soft and lovely. And then we're gonna amp it up. And I'm even gonna use the eye wand just on its side to sketch up. I don't want to put anyone off, but it kind of reminds me of like Black Swan at the moment. And I'm just using So Shy again, just to really set that in place. And you can see how lovely and matte it is, which I actually like because the rest of the, like the surrounding area is quite dewy still. I'm just looking to see if it's neat and even. I'm just gonna go straight from the eye wand again, right in that inner corner for that brightness. I think that's cute. It's a bit different. It's a little bit avant-garde. What I'm going to do now is go in with a little angle brush and I want in Raven, so super black. And I'm going to go again straight from the wand. So I just get my brush, just load it up with product, not too much. And we're going to use this to create some liner. So I'm going to use a little mirror. And I'll start with this eye. Ah, no, I'll start with this eye. So I'm going to follow my little shape up and then I'm going to bring it slightly back in itself. I want really not too much liner. I want this look to be quite um, soft and just manipulate the shape slightly, get right in at that lash line and I'm just doing a kind of little half wing. I just want to elongate my eye so if I look straight you can see that it's starting to pull my eye out slightly. Nice and see when I've got a wee lash on that will just be lovely. And if you were doing a super smoky eye you can just use the Raven straight from the bullet on the outer corner and blend. But because we've got such a light base and I'm doing a wing, that's why I'm kind of using the product from the bullet in a brush. I want a little bit of shimmer on the inner corner. So I'm going to take Glimmer from the Essential Palette and I'm just going to spray with some All Nighter and just apply right in there. Oh, pretty. Now is slightly trickier. I'm going to do some graphic liner, just do this top part. Definitely start small and build up, you'll get more confident. See, just like that to start is great. And I've actually got Raven on the back of my hand and the way I do that, so I literally get the eye wand, scrape a little bit off, roll it out in the back of my hand. I used to do this with pencils all the time. And then go in with my little brush, pick it up and it's almost like a paint. And you can do that with any of the shades. Nice. Okay, I really like that. I don't want it to be connected. I quite like it like that. But what I might do actually is just sharpen that up and kind of slightly thicken it. It feels like quite a classic look. 
And even though like it took us a little while to get that vanilla base, but it's so worth it because it just adds something. I think you can do this on top of your bare lid. You can do it with a pop of color. Like blue is really fun, something like that. But I think that's really nice. Okay, let's do some mascara. I have here the Revitalash Volumizing Mascara and Primer. I have never really been a huge user of primer, but I got this the other day and oh my goodness. Especially with a look like this when you've got like a light lid. So I'm gonna pop this on. Primer is blue and I've not been using it for a crazy amount of time, but I am really obsessed with it. Anyone that's been about for my Revitalash journey, you'll know that Revite Lashes totally changed my lashes and those of the people that I've given it to. <laughs> Revite Lash was pretty much my Christmas gift of choice last year. Um, it's just unbelievable, like my lashes have never been so long in my life and I just really, really love it. So I thought if they can make a product that's so good for growing my eyelashes, surely their mascara is amazing too. And lo and behold, it is. So there's the primer on. You can see there's like a little hint of blue. And then I'm gonna go in with the mascara, just the black mascara. And I just take my time. I find doing my mascara really therapeutic. Look at that from the side even, oh my goodness. Good, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with my lower lashes. I don't want any kind of eyeshadow or anything under there, but I do want nice thick lashes. I have a little pair of lashes. While I wait for my wee lashes to dry, I'm just gonna do one more coat. One more coat of mascara on my lashes, my lower lashes. It's just a really lovely mascara. It's quite different. It's just like a classic volumizing mascara. It's not gonna make your lashes look too chunky, if that makes sense. I just think it's beautiful. Let's do my little freckle. I'm gonna just take this matchstick and just do an ever so slight contour in my nose because I just never do that and I always like it when I do. Go right up here. And see what I mean about the product being quite dry? It, it doesn't just blend, you have to kind of work at it. I do really like it. I like it for contouring. Just a wee touch. This makeup makes me feel like a little classic bow, like Audrey Hepburn or something. I was obsessed with Audrey Hepburn when I was young. I used to always watch Breakfast at Tiffany's when I was getting ready to go out. When I was like early teens, I don't know who I thought I was. Live that dream, little Jamie. Isn't she pretty? Right, a wee bit more powder. I can see that I'm just oily here, but I don't hate it. I do not hate it. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, let's do lips. So, I know what I want to do. I'm gonna get any product off my lips. This is my new fave thing. I know I've got a new fave thing every week, but alas. So I'm gonna get Modern Lip Definer and Rumour, and I'm gonna sketch out where I want to overdraw my lips. So I'm gonna start out in the middle. Start in the center, like so, crazy. Bottom. And then I'm gonna go in with Velvet Sands, which is the lightest shade, and this is gonna blend Rumour into my lip color and also slightly tweak the shade. Just for this look, it's just so nice. Tell me that's not so pretty. And I'm gonna slightly bring it on my lip. Slightly, and then I'm gonna go back in with Rumour and just redefine and push out where I need to. Naturally, I've just got a really uneven lip shape, so I'm just trying to, I mean, I don't really care. <laughs> so I'm overdrawn where I think I need to be overdrawn. I'm just a bit squint in the face, so it is not the easiest, but usually I just get to a point and I'm like, yeah, that's nice. So I've got quite loud eyes. I've got a nice defined lip, but it's, I, I kind of want to keep it more natural, so no lipstick. I'm gonna use my lip balm. This is the La Roche-Posay, I think it's Cicaplast. Cicaplast? Someone corrected me last time. It is just the best lip balm. I've got one in my bag, not that I go anywhere. One in my bag, one in my car, one next to bed, and one at my makeup desk. Look at that, and it's just the perfect finish. It's like not too glossy, and it just goes with my lip liner so nice. Like it looks like I've got a full lip on the go when it's just a couple, just a couple lip liners. Okay, what have I got left? I'm gonna use a tiny bit more blush because I can. Right off on the cheeks. 
I think that all this look is missing is some glowy skin. So I am just going to pop something on. That's just perfect, isn't it, really? I'm wildly aware that my hair that looked just kind of like it fit the ensemble at the start now looks crazy. So let's just see what we're working with. Jeez. Can I get away with that? Too much? No. <laughs> How fun is that? That's one of my favourites that I've done in a long time. Skin, eyes, lips, the lot. Chuck that to the side. There we go. So you guys, that is the finished look. I hope you really liked it. I cannot tell you how much fun I had just sitting and playing my makeup. Couple of new products in here that I am buzzing about. If you made it to the end. Very excited about next week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the makeup look. Please do tag me if you try it out. I would so appreciate it if you liked the video. And if you wanted to, you can subscribe. As always, I'll link everything that I use down below, mostly. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye. I don't need to clap. When I was a wee girl, when I was a wee lass, a small child. I'm just gonna start. Oh, crazy bitch. No, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. Liar, liar, liar. Holy shit, I'm gorgeous. You can a bigger brush. Oh god, that's got powder all over it. Shake well, did I do that? No, shit. Ow. Oh, I just get my door. I'm trying to be funny, running in a silly way to go and get my lashes. And I kicked the door frame and it hurt. I'm gonna use Mark, Mark. I'm gonna use Mark's bronzer. Cause I can't be bothered doing my hair today.